Come in. Hello. You're Durham, aren't you? Yes. I was looking for Risley. Don't know where he is. He's debating at the Union. I was just stealing his pathetic symphony. I'm reading a paper on Tchaikovsky, but I cannot find the third movement, if it's here at all, which I don't think it is. Feaston here's got a pianola. I know. His rooms are directly above mine. Oh, well, I'll come back with you then. You're living in college now? Beginning my second year. I'm third. I have seen you, though. Hall, isn't it? If Risley's not coming, perhaps I'd better get back. I didn't know you knew Risley. He's a dangerous man. Little of him certainly goes a very long way. You like this music? I'm afraid I do, yes. Sweet water from a foul well, as they say. I, good waltz is more my style. Hmm, mine too, really. The unspeakable vice of the Greeks. The hypocrisy of the man, he ought to lose his fellowship. Oh, come on. No, it's a point of pure scholarship. All the poor old Dean can understand is the physical act. I'm not advocating that. That's old as a fish on a marble slab, you see. <laughs> Shut up, Grizzly. <laughs> I'm trying to make a very serious point here, which is that a masculine love of physical beauty and of moral beauty and of the beauty of the thirst for human knowledge, you omit that and you've omitted the mainstay of Athenian society. It's as if our benighted Dean hadn't even read the symposium. You read it, Hall? Oh, no, you missed the point. You have to maintain some standards of decency. No, you don't. Not if they're propped up by tenth-hand opinion. Typical of you, I may say. Western civilization happens to be run on the principles of Christ's doctrines, not Plato's bloody essences. What exactly do you mean by Christ's doctrines? They're open to all sorts of interpretations. You know, the redemption, the trinity. <laughs> three in one and one in three. Ruler of the earth and sea. Hear us while we Damn Christ doctrines. I can't prove them, but they mean a lot to millions of people, whatever you say. Have you been all right? Have you? You wrote that you were. We're absolute heroes. Peterhouse are abject. And Astro. wonderful wicket keeping. Yeah. Wonderful wicket keeping. Did you have any dark jeeling? Oh, I don't like this Chinese build. Was there any that can have been good? They're so far. It hadn't been for my two valiant catches Three the snips. Three wickets. Three wickets. Just dropping them into the rough stuff. I think it's actually like the off stuff. It was too easy. Where did you get to? I know you read those books in the back. How do you mean? You'll understand then. I don't have to explain. Understand what? That I love you. Don't talk rubbish. Durham? Durham, come back! 
Clive, you're bloody hard. You don't know what it is to have a mind in a mess. It, it makes you very hard. Oh, Hall, don't be so stupid. You must know that to be alone with you hurts me. I don't think no, please, discuss. don't. Reopen it. It's over. I'm in hell. <laughs> You'll get out. It's only disgust. You haven't done anything to be ashamed of. You don't know what hell's really like. I thought it was the worst crime in the calendar. The one subject absolutely beyond the limit. Look, you've been thoroughly decent from first to last. So decent that I mistook your friendliness. I thought it was something else. I'm sorry to have insulted you. Durham, I love you. In your very own way. Rubbish, as you so rightly said. Good night. I do. I think I have always. Look. It's like the good, blundering creature that you are to try to comfort me, but there are limits. I'm thankful that it was into your hands I fell. Most men would have reported me to the dean or the police. Damn you, Durham. You realize I I would have gone through life half awake if you'd had the decency to leave me alone. Why me? Perhaps we woke up each other. Can't you kiss me? I think I think it would bring us I think it would bring us down. I think it would spoil everything. This harmony. Body, mind, soul. I don't think women have even guessed. You know. The old schoolroom, our study. That's why you've been put to stay in this dog's misery. Come. It's as much like college as I could make it. Look at the view, though. There. You may shoot rabbits from this window. <laughs> oh, it's jolly for me coming here. 
So this place will never seem the same again. I shall love it at last. Would there be anything else, Sue? No, thank you, Millie. No, that's all. We're up the staircase by ourselves. We need never be in any other part of the house. Apart from meals, that is. I'll leave you to unpack. See you down there. It's locked. The goblin house. My grandfather's grandfather built. <laughs> I locked Pepper in here for a whole day once when we were small. <laughs> 